Yo, what is up, Digifams? It's Lobomon for Game Today, and we got a quick matchup between Bond of Friendship versus Metal Guru Mon Reboot. So I'm gonna go ahead and go first. I do whiff on the rookie, but I'm gonna go ahead and play a Davis, putting him at four, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a Gabumon. Now my opponent James is gonna go and digivolve into a Toy Agumon, then goes into a Greymon, putting himself to two, just because he started off with the four memory. Now debating what he wanted to do, I guess he's just gonna go ahead and digivolve again, putting me to one, but Davis is gonna reset me back to three. I drew, I'm gonna digivolve into a EX01 Gabumon, then I'm gonna go ahead and play the Jabu Gabu. Then I drew into my Octomon, and Octomon's gonna go ahead and put him back to two. My opponent over here is gonna go ahead and promote his Metal Greymon, and because it has jamming, he's gonna go ahead and go for the swing. Um, he hits into a Gabumon, which doesn't matter. Then he's gonna go ahead and Digivolve into a Metal Gurumon. He's gonna go ahead and do the Digivolving Digiburst 2 to go ahead and pop my Gabumon. Then it has Reboot, so it's gonna restand. I decided to go ahead and promote my Octomon, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose to play the Howling Memory Boost first, so I can go ahead and trash his bottom two sources. And that way he can be stunned until the end of his turn. Octomon's gonna swing. I'm gonna trigger off Upamon first, then trigger EX01 Gabumon. Unfortunately, I whiffed on that one, but that's okay. Uh, he triggers an option card that adds to hand. Then I decided that I'm going to go ahead and put him to 3 playing the Matashita just because of the fact that he has nothing in his raising and there's nothing he can really do. Uh, he doesn't have a memory tamer so giving him 3 doesn't hurt that much. Uh, he's going to go ahead and did you evolve in his raising then he puts himself to 1. He's going to swing, attempt to swing but I reminded him that having memory boost is in effect so his Garumon is actually stunned until the end of his turn. He does have quite a few options he can do this turn. He could go for a tamer play because I am going to reset back to 3 anyway. But I believe he's just going to go ahead and play the Chumon, putting me to 2 but then Davis is going to reset me to 3. I won't be able to use my Howling Memory Boost since that's locked. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to swing with Octomon again. Trigger the Upamon, then trigger the AX01 Gabumon. I'm going to add the Jabu Gabu. And then the reason why I didn't did you evolve in my raising yet just because of the fact that I wanted to see what I could grab first before anything else. Which was a smart move. Um, I went ahead and just digivolved into another EX01 Gabumon instead. And from here, I didn't feel like I was behind, so I went ahead and played the Promo Gabu. I wanted to start cycling through my deck, and I missed off a Tamer, but that's okay because we're gonna go ahead and play Ice Wall. That way, if he tries to swing this turn, he's gonna have to lose two memory. Since he doesn't have a memory Tamer on the board, it's gonna be hard for him. And so from here, my opponent's not too sure what he can really do, except maybe just to digivolve into his raising, just because he's going to have to pass turn anyway, if he attacks, and he's not going to get any progress, which is what he's actually going to do right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and reset myself back to 3, then I'm going to promote my Gabumon, gaining the extra memory, and drawing 1. Going to go into my Gabumon play, trashing the top 2, and I hit a mat and a analog youth. So Gabumon's going to go ahead and swing and do its own effects, going to draw off Upamon, bottom decking the Chumon, uh, top 3 with the EX01. I added the Tamer, but because I saw Analog Youth, I accidentally trashed the other two cards. And that was a slight misplay on my end, but it didn't really matter from here because I'm going to go ahead and swing into everything else. I would have lost to an Ultimate Flare, however, because I bottom decked the Chumon first game, I was able to go ahead and use my Hammer Sparks and my Howling Memory Boost. So that didn't really matter because I could just go into two Lobomon for game. So my opponent decided for me to go first. I'm going to go and Digivolve into my BT6 Gabumon. Then I'm going to go ahead and play the Analog Youth, adding the EX01 Gabumon to hand, putting him to two. I decided to go for Youth first just because of the fact that I didn't want to give him too much memory. And looking at my hand, I only have cost three and up other than Analog Youth. So I just put him to two instead. He's going to go and Digivolve in his Raising with a cost two, level four. Then he's going to put me at a three by playing the Rookie on the board. I'm going to go and promote and swing with my Gabumon so I can draw off with Upamon. I do have three memory to work with. I could just choke him to one by playing the Davis or I can play a double mat. I'm not too sure if I had double mat in my hand, but I went ahead and played the Davis. Davis is going to add the Jabu Gabu to my hand, bottom decking the other two, one of them being an Ice Wall. Now for this list, I am playing four Ice Walls before the ban list hits it to one, but I'm trying to practice for each game just to play one Ice Wall. That way I can start getting used to it. Um, he's going to go and uh, pass me back to three by playing his Tamer. I'm going to Digivolve into my BT6 Gabumon. Then I'm going to play Matt, putting me to zero. Then I play another Matt, putting him to three since his Tamer resets him to three. From here, I think he decided to go ahead and keep his raising and he's going to go and swing with his Rook. Um, it's going to go ahead and die to Ikakumon since it's 6k. Then my opponent's deciding what he wanted to go ahead and do over here. He's trying to figure out how to play around Bond. 
But at this point, he's just gonna go ahead and play Tar Agumon, then did evolve into a Greymon, putting him putting myself to two. I'm gonna go ahead and promote putting myself to five due to the double mat and Davis resetting me back to three. Go into the Goblin play trashing two. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and swing, restanding by its own effect. I'm gonna bottom back his Digimon. Uh, the only time I'm gonna lose here is if I hit an ulti flare. I swing the second time, restanding by its inheritable, swinging for the last time. Survives all three. I'm still at two memory to work with, so I need to go ahead and play a cost three to go ahead and put him to one. That way I can use analog youth to go ahead and reset me back to zero since I gain a memory and Gobblemon's gonna go ahead and die because of it. Yep. And then I'm gonna go and did evolve, having another BT6 Gobblemon ready to go into Bond. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just play the Ice Wall. And then his Tamer's gonna reset back to three. And then at this point, this is game secured already because there's nothing much my opponent can really do from here because Bond will bottom deck again uh, if he has any blockers. So this is actually going to be game, guys. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later on the next one. This is Lobomon for Game signing out.